MongoDB, a NoSQL database designed for high volume data storage. Coincidentally released the same year that Node.js was and coincidentally goes hand in hand with Node like gloves. Unlike traditional relational databases, MongoDB is document oriented. A single database can consist of multiple collections, each collection can contain multiple documents, and each document would contain fields where the fields are key value pairs. Now the data that is stored inside of these documents is JSON-like data, but to be specific, it is binary JSON. Now, now MongoDB comes with a variety of benefits, of them is indexing, load balancing, ad hoc queries and replication. Indexes and ad hoc queries can help make finding data a whole lot easier. Replication to help copy the data to multiple servers so that if one fails you'd have another as a backup. And load balancing to help equally distribute the workload across these multiple servers. And all of this was made possible due to the fact that MongoDB was released at a time when the price of data storage has decreased dramatically. Now one thing to note about MongoDB is that it is schemaless, where a schema is nothing more than a design pattern or constraint that tells how and what data should be stored inside of the database. For example, in a traditional SQL database, I might have a schema that allows for inserting emails and passwords, and if the schema only allows for those two items, I won't be able to add a third piece of information. Whereas in a schemaless database like Mongo, I could add whatever fields I want and remove whatever fields I want. Yet despite its flexibility, this can be looked at as a major drawback, but the ability to have a schema in MongoDB is completely optional. Optional. Now one last thing to note is that Mongo is a non-relational database. For example, in a traditional SQL database you might have a customer table and an order table, and the order would be in direct relation with the customer that made the purchase, whereas in a non-relational database all this information can be stored in a single document. Reducing the levels of complexity, increasing flexibility, and allowing reads and writes to the database to be a whole lot faster. Now stay tuned because I'll be releasing a full tutorial where I show you how to connect your Node.js app to MongoDB, and you will learn how to perform on the CRUD operations. And I'll also be releasing a follow-up video of Mongoose, where I'll show you how to create schemas in Node and validate data. I can't wait to release it, and thanks for watching.